Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Monday, September 16th, 2024. I'm the Drunk Pogaroo. It is beer time. It's the start of another work week. It's the end of my weekend, because I always tell you guys I'm off Sunday, Monday. So this is my Sunday. I've got beers this afternoon, but the day just kind of got away from me. That happens sometimes. So it's like 7.30-ish o'clock, and we got time for one beer before we go back to the grind tomorrow. No big deal, no big deal. Maybe two beers. From a pal's. One of three new IPAs out this week. Three. They don't come often anymore, but man, when they come out, boom, they throw them all. Collective Arts Brewing, Hometown Heroes, available at the LCBO IPA number 28. Yesterday we revisited IPA number one, which it was different, a little bit different than the very first one, but it's okay, times change. Uh, IPA number 28, Deceptive Creature, Nectaron Nipa. Talking, looks like 6.8, 6.8%. So... I'm, I'm down. I'm liking. So they're, they're numbering them lower on the bottom there now, right? And I'm giving them a name as opposed to just going with a straight number sequence. That's fine. It's It's been a long time. I mean, seven years, 28 different IPAs in this series. And who knows how many other hundreds of beers they've released. I'm just happy to see new beers. Nectaron hops, eh? You know a little bit about Nectaron. We used those in the very first version of Two Pad Stack way back in the day. It's like two years ago. <sighs> Goes in for a sniff, gets a snoutful. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. To one beer on a Monday. Well, two, but still, one beer on a Monday. Cheers. I would call that a little thinner than I was expecting. Still good. I think yesterday, because yesterday's IP number one was so good and rich, and it was still in my head. Um, Just decent. Passion fruit, mango, grape, a little bit of grapefruit, touch of orange. Um, definitely riding that kind of, trying to ride that kind of dankiness that they like to put in now, like we saw yesterday. That's all right. I mean, decent. Sex sips a little nicer. There we go. Sometimes it takes two tree sips. That's the problem when you're talking about a beer and you're only doing like three or four sips as opposed to like, you know, later on when I'll... Right, right about this for, you know, five, ten minutes on the Instagrams there. And I've had, like, you know, I can. You know, you get a little more developed in what you're tasting, right? Like, I don't want to. That's why I'm always very careful at the beginning. Unless it's egregiously bad or egregious or, or outstanding, you know, ridiculously good, I'm usually somewhere in the middle because I just don't have enough information yet. Like, my first sip, I wasn't really impressed. Second sip was better. Now I'm smelling some of that passion fruit, right? So it's always one of those things where you're trying to balance out the time constraint of this kind of video you're doing because I'm not gonna I'm not cutting things together. That's too much work, man. That's first impressions. It's a nice beer. Very much in the vein of that soft body, light citrus pithiness in the back. Very good. That adds to the list, man. Where does it fit on the twenty eight IPAs? We had them all, I think we've had them all. Oh, let's put it somewhere in the middle, near number sixteen to twenty. Let's say that it's not as bad as IPA number six, but it's not IPA five or, or eight or 11 or seven. I think people really dug too. Anyways, there you go. Look for that. Give it a try. Welcome back, Collective Arts. Nice to see some new IPAs from our buddies at Collective because, you know, they were known for a long time about just churning them out. And then we kind of went dry for a while and now it seems like they're back again. So hopefully this year has been better than last year and I'm happy to be able to try new stuff from my hometown. Cheers. It sucks that it's getting dark so early now, too. It's just like, we get it. You're going to be winter soon. Boo. 